Hi guys and welcome into another Buffy reaction. I have taken a little bit of a break from Buffy while I've been catching up on Hill House finally because I've been wanting to watch that show for so long and I've been enjoying it so much. I still have the final two episodes of Hill House to get to but I cannot put off Buffy any longer. I need to keep, we need, it's time. It's time. <laughs> We started season three a couple weeks ago watching Anne and Dead Man's Party. Anne was an incredible premiere for season three. We had I, Buffy kind of getting to know herself again, accepting who she is again, and deciding to go back home. And then Dead Man's Party was a frustrating watch, let me tell you. I didn't love the dog pile on Buffy in that one. I also, I saw some comments of people being like, yeah, this was really out of character specifically for Willow. And... That's so true. It's like Xander, he he can say some crazy stuff sometimes and it was even far for him. But like Willow getting upset about the things that she was upset about. I can understand where the feelings are rooted for those types of issues, but like the way that it was handled and it was uncomfortable to watch. But you know what? It's okay. It was still a good and entertaining episode, of course, but just a, it was different. It was a different one. So now next we have Faith, Hope, and Trick. If you would like to watch along with the full episodes with me, my uncut reactions are available below on my Patreon. I have my Twitch links below as well. I also finally got a P.O. box, so if you would like to send me anything, specifically maybe a postcard, I love a good postcard, then that is uh, posted down in the description box now as well. I'm giddy. Oh, I like you giddy. Always have. It's the freedom. As seniors, we can go off campus now for lunch. <gasps> it's no longer cutting. Hey, we're seniors. <laughs> Hey, um, I'm Where's Buffy? Here. Where's Buffy? Uh, Look at them. Uh, oh, Buffy there. And food. All right, prepare to uncouple. Uncouple. <laughs> That's actually very sweet of them, knowing that Buffy's really going through it. Oh, Scott Hope at 11 o'clock. He likes you. He wanted to ask you out last year, but you weren't ready then. Conversation. Or to do that thing with your mouth that boys like. Oh, I didn't mean that bad thing with your mouth. I meant that little half smile. You're supposed to stop me when I do that. <laughs> I like when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Buffy. Hi. Did she for real talk to him last year? I don't remember. Him. I think that went very well. Don't you think that went very well? <laughs> yes, date and shop and hang out and go to school and save the world from unspeakable demons. I want to do girly stuff. Oh, <laughs> not the cut. Why is this creepy? Why do you, it's always random fast food chains that have the creepiest mascots? Why are the mascots always gotta be so creepy? Have a happy burger, may I take your order, please? Diet soda. Medium. That'll be 89 cents. Medium. Dessert. 89 cents? We're here for one thing. Kill the slayer. Yeah. Of course, that's what they all come here for. No. <laughs> the legs out the I had to. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh god, Angel Go to hell. That is quite the nightmare. That's really up there in, just kidding, it's a nightmare, nightmares in TV and movies that I've seen. I wonder, I can't remember what happened to his. Did we ever find out? Because I imagine, you know, once he lost his soul, he didn't wear it anymore. That you pass a makeup test of every class you skipped out on last year. That you provide in writing one glowing letter of recommendation from any member of our faculty who was not an English librarian. <laughs> that you complete an interview with our school psychologist must conclude that your violent tendencies are under control. I'm not sure I like your attitude, Mr. Snyder. Get him. I'm really back in school because the school board overruled you. Ooh. Wow. Na, 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 na. <laughs> okay, Kathla, huh? What are you doing? Baking him some demon pizza? And we need to make sure that he remains dormant and that the dimensional vortex is sealed. Tick, so I need to get a few details about your experience of defeating <sighs> we just got to dig up a little bit of trauma then no biggie angel got the pointy end of the sword kathala sucked him into hell instead of the world that's about the it did she never tell anyone that angel's soul ended up returning well you know i tried the spell to cure angel and i guess that was a bust 
but since then, uh, yeah, I totally small stuff. I needed that reminder. I forgot. Like nobody knows what really went down in those last couple minutes or seconds, even before Buffy sent Angel off into hell. I think that's what where they're taking it. I think the reminder that they just gave us just now is because oh, one sec, one sec. I. Me apologizing to the show for pausing. I think the reason that they're bringing up a Cathla and, and the reason that they're bringing up that, hey, that spell that Willow did to return his soul, no one knows that it worked except Buffy. All of that, I think, is leading us as the audience to a moment where the show is going to bring that stuff to light for our characters. Maybe Giles is going to be like, well, actually, there's a way to get him back. Because he said he's like a Cathla. They still have to do stuff to make sure that it's sealed and he can't return and open that boundary or whatever you want to call it. If it's not completely concrete closed up right now, then that means we can go in and get Angel out and close it up when he's back with us. I think that's where we're going here. I passed my English makeup exam. Nice. Hanging with my friends. Hello, my life, how I've missed you. Yeah. Scott. Oh, Scott. What are you doing here? <laughs> you told me if I came after eight, I could run into Buffy. Thank you for asking. It's just that they're... Okay, you know what? I'm just going to go stand by the dance floor. If you change your mind, you can mosey on over, and then if not, then you don't mosey. Don't trick me. Every love interest for Buffy has a catch. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. I don't think that guy thrives on sunshine. Mm. Oh. No, I... I, I have to... Oh. Uh, uh, sorry. My bad. Oh. No. Poor Scott. I barely know this man and I feel for him. This won't hurt. <laughs> oh, hold on. Okay, I got it. You're a uh, Buffy, right? Is this the new Slayer? I'm gonna go on on a limb and say there's a new Slayer in town. <laughs> yeah, she's good. So it's about 118 degrees and I'm sleeping without a stitch on. So I waste the vamps and the preacher comes up and he's hugging me like there's no tomorrow. When all of a sudden the cops pull up and they arrested us both. Isn't it crazy how slaying just always makes you hungry and horny? Sometimes I, I crave a non-fat yogurt afterwards. <laughs> I figured this was my chance to meet the infamous buff and compare infamous. notes. Infamous. So, V, did you really use a rocket launcher one time? Actually, it's a funny story. There is. So, what was the uh, story about that alligator you uh, said? Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh I big feel it happening. This is what I was scared about. Like, just with Buffy being gone in general, I was like, is there going to be some sort of story arc where when she comes back, she's replaced and they're not like, don't need her or want her anymore? I don't know. But that didn't happen when she came back they just got closer with each other it seems but now now here's cool amazing charming badass faith and uh nothing against her at all she seems amazing but xander and i guess there's nothing wrong with wanting to get you know you feel the tone though there's nothing wrong with them wanting to get to know her we just met her you know it can be about faith for for this conversation but I can just feel where the show is going with it. It's making me nervous. You and I are gonna have fun, you know? Watch your list and fancy free. Where's watch our watcher? Didn't yours go to England too? It is a watcher's retreat every year. Oh, why are you, what are you doing here? It's a great honor to be invited. Does he not get so invited? Told. Uh, it's boring. I'm good for patrolling. Latish though, I promised mom I'd be home for dinner. To which you're also invited, of course. Dinner with us. Dying to meet the fam. I'm in. Hey, don't you have that health science makeup? Oh, yeah, actually, I could use a little coaching. You know, you can hang out with us while she's testing. <laughs> you wanna? Oh, excuse me. Oh, uh, sorry. I know you from somewhere. Oh, no. She's gonna the get, Your she's friends gonna Buffy, beg right? Scott. Yeah, I'm Faith. I'm Scott. He's a cutie. Has he seen anybody? Rumor has that this town already has a slayer, which makes two. Not real sure how that happened. Oh. I don't care if there are a hundred slayers. Wait, so they are going after Faith, right? Rumor has it that this town already has two. As in they weren't expecting someone to already be here, being Buffy. Which means they followed Faith here. Which means, do a lot of people not even know that Buffy exists? Well, Faith did. I don't know, that's interesting. I'll kill them all! I'll kill them all. Food's here, boys. I don't know. I can't tell what. Okay, don't leave the pizza though. When I'm fighting, it's like the whole world goes away, and I only know one thing. 
that I'm gonna win and they're gonna lose. It's that dead feeling you get when they win and you lose. I don't let that kind of negative thinking in. Right. Right, that could get you hurt. Ugh, not the mom, Making too. Negative. Someone be on Buffy's side. See, honey, you gotta fight that. Oh, my God. Working it's so it. annoying. It's so annoying. It's like when you're a kid and it's like your parents are like, why can't you get good grades like your friends? Look, your friend gets good grades. <laughs> it's like, thanks, I'll try. Some things I'd be happy to see you share, like the slang. I mean, two of you fighting is safer than one, right? I want to see this see this out for real, too. Yes. You heard her. She loves the slang. What Could if she, she takes take over? over oh. Mom, no one can take over for me. I mean... Like you said, I've got help now. I've got all the help I can stand. Okay, that's, like, sad. Why is she eating, like... Is she, like, not used to getting... Having food or something? I really don't, like, Kendra kind of was in the show for shock value, I think, mostly, and to just let us know that uh, another Slayer is possible. Like, Kendra wasn't really, didn't have a long stretch. She, like, showed up for the mid-season finale and the finale finale. And this time, I'm just so curious about what they do with Faith, and I want them to keep her around, like, for a decent stretch. Like, a good at least half-season consistent on and off char character. And I don't want her to die. I may not sleep in the nude and wrestle alligators. Maybe it's time you started because obviously something in your bottle needs uncorking. Okay, keep going. Let's what talk. What is it? The, the angel thing? Uh, Just what your friends tell me. Big love, big loss. You had a deal and move on, but you're not. Uh, Think you can take me? Yeah. I just hope they can't. Uh, Listen, I've been on Team Faith, but that was, that was mean. What in the world? Also, I'm kind of like... If she, for real, only knows about the angel stuff through the friends, I'm kind of disappointed in the friends for putting it like that as well. Like, it was, I don't know. Oh, my dead mother hits harder than that! <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course she has a dead mom. I can sense that. Take him already and give me a hand! Oh, Faith's got issues. She's got issues. Okay, okay, I see. I see now. Faith is just someone you got to get through the, what do you call it, like the shell first. She, no one just starts off that way. You form it after a good amount of trauma and she's got trauma and she takes it out in slaying and she has unhealthy coping mechanisms. I think she has no family. I think she probably has nobody but her watcher. <sighs> she said some hurtful things, but I get where she's coming from now because I think she's annoyed that Buffy seems to have it all. She has friends. She has family. She has a great relationship with her watcher. She's in one place. You know, she's loved. I think that's all Faith wants. And the idea of even replacing Buffy is somewhat appealing to her. I don't think in a realistic sense, but in a quick, guilty fantasy type of way. And I can understand that. I can understand her. I think she's still a slay. I think we're going to get to know her and she's going to be fine. She's just got some stuff going on up here. What is wrong with you? What are you talking about? I'm talking about you living large on that vampire. Gee, if doing violence to vampires upsets you, I think you're in the wrong line of work. She's focused on the slaying. She doesn't have a whole other life here as you do. She doesn't need a life. She has mine. I think you're being a little... No, I'm being a lot. The one that nearly bit me mentioned something about kissing toast. He lived for kissing toast. Do you mean Kikistos? I think it was Taquitos. <laughs> it's also the name of a vampire so old that his hands and feet are cloven. Oh, the one with the eye scar. Giles, there are two things that I don't believe in. Coincidence and leprechauns. We gotta see a leprechaun on this show at some point. Hi. Oh. Scott. How are you? Uh. Think of this as my last ditch effort. I realize <laughs> that one more is gonna qualify as stalking. <laughs> Come to think of it, I, I don't think I've given a fair chance to Buster Keaton. This is a big deal. I think it might be time to see a little more. Yeah. Oh no, please Keaton's let this key. happen. That's something I would very much like to have with you. <laughs> it's probably accidentally cursed or something if I'm- You like? Is that for real? I can't. Oh okay. no, it was going so well. Oh no, I he doesn't- <gasps> No, that's not the message though. Oh no. I'm fine. Um, did you reach the retreat? Yes, I did. What did our watcher no, say? No, I'd feel too bad. I would just tell him everything. Our watcher's dead. <gasps> oh my god, did I say that out loud? I thought that. I thought that for a second. I was like, what if she doesn't have a watcher anymore and she's just free Roman? Cloven guy. 
Goes by the name Kakistos. Mm-hmm. What do you know about Kakistos? You brought him to our town. And what was that? She's on the move already? She's leaving town? Faith, you came here for a reason. I can help. You don't know me. You don't know what I've been through. I'll take care of this, all right? I really want to know what Let she's been through. Let me take care of your watcher. <gasps> okay, let's be, let's be nice. Be nice. Killed her, didn't he? <gasps> you don't have a word for what he did to her. Kakistos killed her. Faith. Okay, this is happening right now. Okay, this is great. We're gonna kill them together. It's gonna be bonding. She's gonna be a bestie. This is what I wanted. I wanted a, a Slayer bestie. And this is the time. Ooh, fancy. Don't die. <laughs> we don't do something, the master could get killed. The master. Well, the birds are with him. <laughs> They're strolling away. <laughs> That's so funny. Do oh. Get it, Faith. You hungry? I could go for Start. a burger. I actually could. Are they gonna go to that burger joint? <laughs> they should. Because I've been thinking about burgers ever since seeing it. Faith is to stay here indefinitely. I'm to look after you both until a new watcher is assigned. Cool. Good. She had a lot to deal with, but I'm actually really it. happy about this setup. The way that this is setting up because it's giving me faith, no pun intended, that she's not gonna die, that Faith's not gonna die. Because I know that they're not gonna want to keep another slayer in the show for too long because you know Buffy in the end is the slayer and it's her show. But I don't want them to go the same route as Kendra. Um, and I think that setting it up so that her watcher's gone and she's gonna be temporarily here under Giles for a bit gives them time to play with how long they want her um, in the episodes before they decide to turn her over to the next watcher and we know that she's going to be okay with her new watcher then and then maybe we'll get to see her again down the road here and there but I, I'm excited about this stretch of time that she's going to be with Buffy and Giles this is fun Angel was cured oh we're doing this so I, I told him that I loved him and I kissed him and I killed him. Yeah, can we have a little bit more understanding for Buffy now, guys? Oh, are we gonna make Hello. this up? I would love to. Hey. Uh, if you would still like to go to the film festival. And I would understand it if you didn't. I'd pretty much love to go with you. Don't say you're going with Faith. Uh, um. Okay, you know what? I thought about it, and then when do you want to go? <laughs> okay. Uh, that well, was mean, but just mean enough that it was cute. I have to do tonight, and... I'm excited about them. I'm also scared that I'm excited about them. What is this? It's an important step. I love this episode. What? Oh my god, I knew he would- I just ha I had a feeling he was gonna be coming back. Of course they would choose that timing as soon as Buffy's like ready to really let go and move on. That's when they bring him back, of course. What, what other time would they decide to bring Angel back? I don't understand how. I don't under- what? How is it? What, how did her setting the ring down bring Angel back? It had to have something to do with like the specific spot that she set it. Because I'm thinking maybe there's an element of like her having to completely let go and move on for him to then come back. Like I wonder if her emotions have anything to do with like tying him in either plane. So I wonder like if she decided like mentally to be done and she set the ring, you know, I don't know, in a graveyard somewhere. Would that incite... Angel to come back because there's that sense of her moving on or was it like something about the position of the ring and what the ring represents and it being in that spot and like honing the energy to bring him back somehow I'm not sure uh, 
I'm not sure. He looks like he's been going through it. Also, I'm still really hung up on the line from the first episode where we were in a certain type of hell, which you guys explained to me, like, there is not really one hell. There's just, like, different dimensions of demons and hells, I guess. But I'm guessing that where he's been, hell, is a place where, like they said in the first episode, time moves differently and, like, an hour feels like a year or something. Like, the time is, like, crazy. Like, a day is a thousand years. It's something crazy. So if he's been being tortured like that for thousands of years, what feels like thousands of years, is he even going to remember Buffy? Like, is he even going to... Like, I feel like if you are tortured for that long, you are completely stripped of your identity and your sense of self and all of your past experience like I feel like you're just stripped down to nothing I think he's gonna have no idea what's going on oh man that almost overshadowed the whole faith plot the foot this, this was a great episode best episode of the third season so far I know that's saying so much since it's only episode three but it was so good like maybe one of my favorite episodes of the whole show so far just so good I love what they're doing with faith I want her to stick around like I said um I am happy that she conquered that that one villain uh Kikisto Kikistos I'm happy that she got rid of him and we're gonna like move on from them I'm guessing that Mr. Trick and whoever the third person in that little party was that the two that left him I'm guessing they're just gonna be out and we're not gonna see them again um I don't see why they would come back they didn't seem too attached to Sunnydale which by the way I think that makes so much sense for vampires to like have just no loyalty to their masters and just walk out like that. It was funny the way, the way that they did it, but it just makes sense. Yeah, I just love the setup. This is one of those, I've found that my favorite types of episodes is the one where it's a setup and a transition episode, but it also has the feel and atmosphere of a uh, like finale. I don't know, like it has that energy to it still. It doesn't drag at all. It, it's like has both ends of the spectrum and... This just did it really well. And I think there's so much to learn still about Faith. I think Faith is going to really help Buffy be more grateful for what she has. Not that I would say she's ungrateful. I think she's doing her best and she's been through a lot too that Faith will learn about. And I think they're going to learn to understand each other more. And I think they're going to learn from each other. And I think I'm just really excited. Next up, we have the Beauty and the Beasts. This one feels like a monster of the week, but I'm hoping that all this stuff that we got introduced to in the third episode you know, carries carries into this next episode somewhat. I desperately need it to. Like, I can't, I, I'm going to be really, I'm going to be sad if there's no angel in this episode because I need to know what is happening there. Thank you very much. One night. Full moon? After supper. Oh, beast? Dog Us? The snowshoe rabbit. Going back into the wombs of time. The rabbit could not... Oh, that's where the, I was wondering. Try less stimulating. I was wondering what they've been doing with him. I put those towels up for privacy. Oh, no worries. I can handle the odds, full Monty. I mean, not handle, handle like uh, hands to flesh, handle. Okay, well, it's not for you. It's for me, um, because I'm still getting used to half a Monty. You and Oz? Which half? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> I wouldn't have asked, but I have this test. No big. You can count on me. Oh, usually coffee, it's just Willow doing it all. Read, maybe run the stairs over there a little bit. <laughs> I'm good. Oh, God. So Oz is definitely getting out somehow tonight, right? You and Scott have been up there kicking the gear shift. Hardly. We're living on a few dates. <gasps> a few dates? But he doesn't seem to be any kind of hell beast. <laughs> yeah. All men are That's beasts. That's always a win. Okay. <laughs> That's got to be another... That's got to be another werewolf, right? Wait, what is it? It's Beauty and the Beauty and the Beasts. Another werewolf in town. It's got to be. Is Willow the beauty? Howdy, Debbie. Hi, Oz. Hey, you know doing jazz band this year? Is Debbie Ooh, the werewolf? Can't take the pressure. It's not Why do we just get a name? Hard. It's the marching. Those are pretty flowers. Thanks. Pete brought them for me. Yeah. And well, Pete. Uh, I'm sure Scott does that kind of stuff. You too, Buffy. We're pre posy Definitely. Don't tell me it's Scott. Well, oh my God, so many people. Mr. Platt, today. Platt, the school counselor? I get to convince another, him that I'm little Miss Stable. Another so new school. school counselor? Platt creeps me out. What if the school counselor's a werewolf? I'm telling you it's a waste of time. I was here all night. Right. Yes, nice to see you. Um, no need to panic. Jeff Walken. Jeff? I know him. Hmm. I'm afraid he was he was um, terribly mauled. Now, uh, terribly much as I hate mauled. to think it, 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 it could be the handiwork of, of me. How long? Exactly. Did you rest your eyes for? No, he doesn't deserve to be. It's definitely another person. In the morning when I, um, 
when I... Woke up! <gasps> you can put it that way if you want to, Mr. Technical. Must be Summers reporting for sanity. Oh, this is the school counselor. I don't want to be friends here. We're not going to be friends. Great. Any person who claims to be totally sane is either lying or not very bright. Agreed. Let's start with why you ran away. That's a long story. Mm. I, I'm moving on. I feel good. I'm, I'm even dating someone new. All good things. Mm -hmm. But still, you're, you're bringing me in at the end of the movie. I we didn't sign up for therapy. You're just someone. a school counselor. My mom and I were fighting and I... Oh no, this is the necessary... They're using the school counselor as like a psychological evaluation. I thought they were going to get like an actual, like bring a real person in. I can't remember, but this was part of like Snyder's requirements for her, right? I was like, this is a lot for a school counselor to do, but I, I, I just remembered that. Love becomes your master and you're just its dog. Scary. I'm afraid to ask. Mm -hmm. Oz ate someone last night. No, he, he didn't. Did Oz does not eat people. Oh, oh, uh oh, I'm not ready. Um, yep, okay. Oh, okay. I'd already resigned myself to the fact that we weren't going to get Angel in this episode. I thought we were just going to like pick up with him later because Beauty and the Beasts. Are we talking about, was it not even, was it, it not even a second werewolf and it was just Angel? And he's like rabid and not even like attacking in the way that a usual vampire were, would, but like. He's just going like insane on his victims and it looks like a werewolf attack or is he like a side piece for the episode <laughs> and there's two werewolves as mystery werewolf and angel. I don't even know how she is capable of doing this right now. I would, I would just, I would have frozen, not been able to unfreeze and he would have killed me and that would be the end. Yeah, we're about to find out it wasn't a werewolf. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> We're doing crime here. Willow, how can you stand it? <sighs> yeah, well, I mean, this guy's pretty bar for the. She's a badass. Uh, can't be me. Great, so we got everything we need? Yep, that's it. Okay. Oh, oh. I thought we were gonna check. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, you can only be a girl boss for two so long, you know? Sometimes we gotta take a break. <sighs> oh my god. I can't. I can't. Oh, wow. Wow. Where's the ring? Is it gone gone? Like, he's actually a monster in the sense that, like, does he speak English? Like, or anything? Does he speak? Or does he just growl? I didn't even think about that. I think I was on the right track with, like, him not being himself anymore after spending so much time in hell. But I didn't even think about, like, I, I got to the point where I was like, oh, he's not going to be himself. He's not going to remember anything. But no, of course he's not going to remember speech even after everything he's been through. Oh my. Oh, Oopsie. Uh, Buffy, are you okay? Actually, I, I came to give you the rest of the night off. Get out of jail free, huh? I come. Figured I'd uh, cram for my French test. She so better tell Giles. Exploring demon dimensions and mystery of a cutler. I had a dream about Angel. No, just tell and, him um, the truth, all of it. Brought up some questions. After. Jenny was killed. I had dreams that she was s still alive, that I ah. saved her. This wasn't a dream. Uh, there's no record of anyone returning from uh, the demon dimension once the oh. gate was closed. I, 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 from what is known about uh, the dimension, it, it would suggest a, a world of brutal torment. It would take someone of extraordinary will and character to survive that and uh, retain any semblance of self. A last cause. She's thinking about just killing him? Maybe not. Maybe not? In my experience, there are two types of monster. The first uh, can be redeemed, or more importantly, wants to be redeemed. The second is void of humanity. Yeah, don't even realize they are a monster. Cannot respond to reason. What happened with the inspection of the body? Anyone? They're yummy, delicious. Well, come on. Was it werewolf? Was it a vampire? It, it wasn't conclusive. How could it not be conclusive? What did it look like? Was he bit? I wanted her to keep talking. He made it to another episode. Hey, uh, well, my mom says that therapy can be completely helpful. 
Yeah, but your mom has the wattage of a Zippo lighter, Scott. I hope you realize I don't actually know these people. I thought you would like me better if I had friends, no. so I hired them. <laughs> I hired them. He's so cute. Uh, I'll see you later. Uh, yeah. She didn't even eat any cello. Check out Scotty liking the manic depressive chick. Rude. Angel. No, he's... It's not him. Way too soon. Mm, yeah. That is not strong enough. I don't like that shot. He is gonna break free. I can't. I have to meet a friend. So you'll be late, but happy. Are these two about to die? Why are we seeing these two? Oh, yep. Okay. Nothing. <laughs> Kiss me. No, Debbie, you did not drink that, did you? Drink Why it. would she? No, I didn't. Just listen. And that's. Is he dead? That's your thing, right? Why? He's dead. There's nobody else that I can talk to. Well, that not sucks because I'm pretty sure he's dead. I just. I need to talk or to what someone. if it's it's got the werewolf's got to be maybe I was thinking Debbie at first because maybe she was drinking something to try to suppress something I don't know but then it would more probably likely be Pete is that his name because he's with her he seems kind of obsessed with her she seems kind of nervous around him like a little pressured but like nervous to say no in a way that like she thinks he might hurt her maybe and she made a comment about not liking the uh school counselor and so what if he was like okay bet I'm gonna kill him He's come back. Whoa. The bottle just I'm thinking jumped about the, out of the cabinet. And yeah, it's for sure him. It's for sure him. Also, but okay, I'm wondering now why the DNA results came back inconclusive. Way past that now. You see? Does it force okay. him to shift? No more. Because all it takes now is you, Debbie. You and your stupid grating voice. You can. Oh. Wait. Whoa. What are you? Is that something your shrink taught you, Debbie? Huh? To communicate. To piss me off. Well, guess what? This explains the inconclusiveness. What is he? Oh, he feels bad. Is it, is it manipulation or does he genuinely like black out and can't help it? You know you shouldn't make me mad. Oh, got it. Uh, yeah, no okay. Debbie, please. Are you alright? No, she's not okay, you psychopath. It's okay. And then she's the one comforting him. That's terrible. It's especially terrible because it's like a common thing. Common emotional manipulation tactic. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Oh, the notes. Did you bring the notes? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm such a klutz. I, I, um, oh. Fell down. It's your eye. Thanks. Hey, um. Oh my god. Well, we know what who's on his hit list now. Good luck, though. You're not, you're not touching Oz. What if boyfriend Pete's the one doling out the punishment? We should find them both immediately. Mm-hmm. It's tricky covering a fresh shiner like that. Mm-hmm. They've still got, works. it's still got heat to what? it. Don't get hit. Well, um... Normally I'd say you want to play I have a secret, fine. But people are dying here. It's not his fault. I mean, he's not himself when he gets like this. You mean Pete? It's sad because, like, it, she literally... She means it literally, but it's the, these same things that are said with domestic abuse. Oh my god. Not the time, not the time for him to break free. <sighs> I could never do that to him. So are you to live out your grim fairy tale? Okay. Two people are dead. Buffy, I get it, but w be be Who's be, be next? more sensitive. Hey, Pete, this is kind of a bad time. Well, I guess you didn't think about that when you put the moves on Debbie. Is he not confused why Oz is in a cage? Something's gonna happen that you probably won't believe. <laughs> or you might. Yeah. I love that. Ugh, the way that they're. They shake his head around. It's so creepy. All of the beasts are out of their chains and cages tonight. He does love me. He does love me. I think we broke her. He does love me. I think she was broken before this. Yeah. Most definitely. Time's up. Rules change. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Was that? Ah! Oh, sorry! Alright, bloody priceless. Oh, oh 
no. Oh my god, he really jumped that quick. I don't know how I feel about this werewolf, but I'm looking past it. Like, I mean, like, how they're doing the werewolf. It's like, just like a whole werewolf suit, but, you know, it's fine. She knows. How did she know, Debbie? Oh my god, of course. Did you run your big mouth? <gasps> Is she good? I hope she's good. Oh my god. <laughs> Not the tail. Ooh. Oh, the little whimper. Oh, perfect! Yeah! So maybe it is a good thing he escaped. <laughs> Although I'm pretty sure he's gonna turn on us as soon as this one is done. Wow. Thank you, thank you, okay. I can't wait to see Xander's uh, reaction to Angel being back, if I'm honest. Uh, you're not gonna attack us? Buffy. Okay, I did not see that happening. Maybe I do have to root for them to be endgame at this point. What do you mean he went through hundreds of years of torture and he remembers Buffy? Pete was a monster part. Where's the Angel? Uh, what are we, why are we cutting to this? He was afraid Debbie was going to leave him, so he makes this potion to become super moss macho. Mm. The only thing was, after a while, he didn't need the potion to turn into a bad guy. Uh... <sighs> Scott. I'll see you guys oh, later. No, is this the end of Scott? Right. Now I'm going to be stuck with serious thoughts all day. I don't know what to say. That's not going to sound stupid or. I just want to tell him. I hate when we have to keep secrets. I've been friends with them both since before we started school. Oh, he was actually really friends with them. I can do. I, I knew that the, the I just hired them was a joke, but I thought it was like a half joke. I didn't know they were actually friend friends. Oh, I feel bad. Okay. Thanks. I'm gonna be okay. You know who he kind of looks like is Dave Franco. So you never really know what's going on inside somebody. Hold on. Who, do I know him? No, I don't know him. I don't know him. He just really looks like a Franco to me. Does he not look like a Franco to you? Okay, anyways. And the strain of the primitive remained alive and active. Don't deal with this alone, Buffy. Faithfulness and devotion. Wow. Okay, look. Episode one. Great premiere. Wrapped up where we left off perfectly. Set the scene really well. Dead Man's Party. Kind of a frustrating episode. Uh, episodes three and four. Both 11 out of 10s. And I cannot wait to see what comes of season three after seeing these. Like by the end of the angel arc at the end of season two, when we would like banished him to hell, I was ready to be done with him. Like I, I was sad about it. I was sad for Buffy, but like I was ready to be done with Angel. I was like, okay, I think we've run his character dry. I think that's it. But with this now, they've managed to like completely revitalize my interest in him and what his character can do for the show. And I'm so, wow, I'm so shocked that he knows her. I'm so shocked. And now I'm going to get attached. I was never fully attached, but I think that's got to be like, that's, that's love. That's love. That's crazy. I wonder if he'll remember anyone else. I wonder if he'll, it'll just be Buffy. I wonder what's up with these, if he's capable of calming himself down. Like we saw, does that mean, is he only able to do that in the presence of Buffy? Is How long is it going to take for him to be able to get himself under control? Or did he get himself under control since Buffy was in danger? Go and help her. And Buffy is like the regulation of his emotions now, which is scary and dangerous. That's like a lot of responsibility. I don't know. I don't know exactly what's happening. But all I do know is that I'm excited for more. The beauty and the beasts. The beauty. Who is the beauty of the episode? Probably Oz. <laughs> I feel like the Oz was definitely the beauty, and then the beasts were um, were for sure uh, Angel and and my God, Pete. Pete was the worst beast that we've seen yet. So like the fact that yeah, he was choosing to be the way that he was is crazy. Like even with evil vampires, there's a level of well, they have no soul. They can't help it. This man had a soul, and he was out here enhancing all of his murderous capabilities and abusing his girlfriend and he's probably up there as the worst 
person in terms of villains. Yeah, wow, this was like, I love when episodes are like this, when so much is packed into it. Like I said, I wasn't expecting any angel in this episode, and that would have been fine because the rest of what was going on was really interesting to me. But they packed so much into it, and it was so good, and that's what I have to say about that. I don't know what Buffy's going to do. I don't know where Buffy's head is at, emotions, heart. I don't know. I, I And she better talk to somebody. I don't want her to keep this all bottled up and have to secretly take care of Angel. Like, I, I, I just can't wait for the day for her to feel like she can open up to people. She feels still that she has to carry the weight of the world on her shoulders all the time. Wow. Okay. Next is Homecoming. I'm excited. I love Homecoming. And Band Candy? Band Candy sounds like a monster of the week. Band Candy sounds like <laughs> it's going to be a fun one. Homecoming sounds like it's going to be fun too, but for a different reason. I just love a, I love a school dance. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.